Hi guys, Dave Anderson, Heli Cools Helipad. It looks like the weather is not going to cooperate today, um, but uh, here's a sneak peek of what's coming up. Stay tuned. If you haven't noticed uh, the starting issue that I'm having with Malachi, I just think that it's just uh, the connections are, are uh, dirty or rusty. Uh, I took care of the battery parts, but uh, there's some other things that you need to do as well. So I'm going to try to take care of that. And I'm also going to uh, try to take care of uh, the cab leveling device as well. One of the other uh, subscribers who is a has turned out to be just a a excellent resource for me has pointed out some things so I'm gonna try to tackle that as well okay so you know where I'm at right here is where the spare tire would be what I need to take a look at is the polarity distribution block you can tell on on uh, Patricia this one is pretty rusty and uh, needs to have some maintenance done on it but I imagine that Malachi's is pretty much the same thing all right on the on the snorkel side of the vehicle this is what I also want to take a look at It's right there, and that is the cab leveling device. And I need to uh, make sure to adjust that on Malachi because the cab is going clear up to maximum, causing a pretty annoying squeak. Only thing is, I just wonder what Bob would say about this. Oh, that's right. That's what he would say. Though I have a little bit of issue with this and I've known about it you can see that it's not all the way forward so what I need to do is work on that little piece right there and I'll uh, show you how to take care of that it's just rusted all right now I'm gonna loosen up this bolt here it's a little bit bigger than an inch so I had to grab me a crescent wrench because that's all the all the bigger sizes that my wrenches go and right up in here I added four squirts of grease and I just put it in there with my finger but you see this little rod here is supposed to ride up into that slot and it's uh, kind of frozen so we need to make that make sure that gets freed up All right, so the next step is to get the cab up into its um, balance point as best as you can. I'd recommend going up with it because uh, when gravity takes over, it's it would fall forward and, and not be dangerous. If you're trying to balance point coming back and it was to gravity was to take over, it would start falling back on you. So I would recommend basically going the other way and uh, and uh, not coming down with it. I think that's just about it. I, if I go any further, it's going to start uh, tilting forward. So I'm going to get that wrench and I'm going to turn that bolt 
that's uh, on the inside there, not the nut, but the bolt, and hopefully free up that cam. All right, so if I rock this just with my hand, you can kind of see that that cam, that bolt inside that cam is wanting to go. It's a little bit loose. The idea is to have this bolt, take my glove off, have this bolt that's going through here slide up here because there's a cam inside and it should be sliding up to the top. Now if yours is rusted up like mine is, you're going to need some penetrating oil, which I've been spraying it up there liberally. While I have the penetrating oil soaking in on this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop the spare tire because I need to get this off of here to put the other uh, road type tire on. And I also want a little bit better access to the um, polarity distribution box. Well, hey, Bob, what do you think? You think that'd be a good idea? That is a good idea. Thank you for that. So you have a plane of reference I'm actually standing or crouching where the spire tire used to be and it is worth mentioning that uh, this is an ether bottle and you can get these um, you can get these at O'Reilly's they're uh, 50 bucks and uh, you know I saw a video the other day this dude from Fort Drum trying to start an LMTV at minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit and I think that he burnt that starter up because he basically just had it hammered down for about two and a half minutes straight. Uh, even when it, he, he would grind it because he, he didn't wait for the starter to stop. It was, it was horrible. If I was a commander, I'd, I'd have some words with that kid. This probably would have saved him a little bit had he, had he gave it a shot of ether. Would have helped that engine start. I'm not going to replace mine. Although if it was minus 20, I'd think about it, but it doesn't get that cold in uh, Western Washington. I say that, but it got down to 13 last night. All right, to have clear access to that, you can see it way down in there. The polarity distribution block. I'm gonna go ahead and, and remove the uh, um, air intake. Of course, I'm also going to uh, disconnect uh, the batteries as well. I have eliminated any possibility of an accidental zorch. So look at the condition of this thing. Pretty bad. Well, it wasn't as bad as what I first thought. You can kind of tell that this is one of the nuts that was on it. It was actually pretty decent shape. The top one was the worst. I already got a little bit of the uh, battery uh, uh, cleaner on there and uh, we're putting it back together. Well, I think I'm going to have to replace this ground because it looks like the cable is almost cut in half there. And, uh, you know, it really doesn't look all that better right up here. 
So I'm gonna have to replace this grounding cable. So I'm gonna get the Malachi started, but I wanted to make sure to let you guys know first, uh, it is an Allen wrench uh, that you can um, uh, make the adjustment on the cab leveling. And it is a size 764 standard Allen wrench. to be very difficult to get into that area up on top of Malachi so I thought I'd just show you this a little bit better you see this nut this nut right here if you put your allen wrench on this side and open end on this side you can you can uh, loosen up that nut and don't loosen up the bottom one but this whole thing will slide in a slot that's in this bracket and you can literally move this back and forth just by um, trying to tighten or loosen on this Allen wrench. And uh, you can kind of set it that way. Uh, mine was maxed out all the way this direction, which made the cab go all the way up. If you go this direction towards the cab, it'll make your cab go back down. I don't know, maybe because I'm just a bigger guy, I didn't really fit very well down inside in between here. And it was very difficult for me to get a wrench on the nut and the uh, Allen wrench on the bolt. So I just would recommend um, taking the spare tire and uh, putting it down. Um, or I mean, you can kind of see where it's at, and there is a slot, it's only about that big. And if you see that yours is positioned clear to the one end, like mine was, which was making it go to max, and you want it, and of course the other end is down to minimum, <laughs> you could probably just push the cab forward and loosen it up, put it right in the center, and bring the cab back down, and it would probably be pretty dang close to being accurate. So uh, there are many ways of doing it. Uh, I'm not saying that my way is the best way. Otherwise, it's going to be a pretty tight fit. And of course, it's going to be pretty noisy. But uh, you can definitely do it, uh, you know, with the cab up or down. Either way, suit yourself. Hey, guys, you know, if Bob were here, uh, he would say this. And then that. And also this. I particularly enjoyed uh, this build today and getting some maintenance done that was much needed. Uh, unfortunately, Bob can't come with me every single adventure, but I hope to have him back at the next video. Got some more uh, big pulling of parts. So uh, I think he's going to be available for that. He's having fun with it too. So you guys keep those likes coming, keep the comments going. And uh, if, if you got uh, folks that uh, can subscribe to the channel, we love building it. It's awesome. Thank you very much for all those that have uh, subscribed over the last several weeks. Our, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure. Until next time, guys, be safe and God bless. Mm -hmm.